Hello world, this is Mike with Tutorials Quick and today I'm going to be talking about the new Live Loops feature that has been added to GarageBand for iOS devices. So with the new update, Apple added a Live Loops which is a cool new uh, way of arranging your tracks. Um, so if you select Live Loops instead of Tracks up here, you'll notice that there's a bunch of different genres that you can pick from. So these are uh, different uh, pre-arranged tracks that you can kind of select and mess around with to kind of create your own tracks from. Um, so if you want to start with a blank slate, what you're going to do is select new. But let's go ahead and open up one of these kind of pre-recorded songs. So let's pick hip hop. And you'll notice that the the screen is a little bit different than when you're just using the standard tracks arranging. Um, what you'll see is you have all of your instruments over at the left here like you're used to with the standard arranging view. But over to the right you have all of the loops that correspond to those different instruments. So if you want to play one loop um, of one instrument, what you're going to do is tap on that cell. And you can kind of mix and match different loops. If you tap on a different loop of the same instrument, which is a different loop in the same row, and you already have one playing, it'll stop the currently playing one and start playing that one. If you want to play all of the loops in a column, which is kind of like a, how you would arrange out different sections, what you're going to do is tap at the arrow at the bottom here. To scroll around, what you do is uh, you're going to actually tap on the instruments over at the left here. Just don't tap and hold, just tap real quick and then drag up and down. So if you tap anywhere on this grid, it'll actually it'll play different loops or start and stop and just create a lot of havoc that you don't need. So to stop everything, we're going to hit the stop transport control at the top here. And then if you wanted to go back to where you were, you just hit play again. If you want to stop and then start all of the loops back from the beginning, you're going to tap this uh, left, uh, kind of like a restart button there. Um, all right, so if you want to edit a loop, what you're going to do is you're going to tap on this uh, edit button in the bottom left corner here, and then tap on the loop you'd like to edit. So let's go ahead and let's tap on this guy right here, and tap again, and then if you hit edit, it'll bring it up to the top of the screen here and you can kind of edit it like you would in the standard arranging view. You're going to tap it once, tap again. Here you can kind of uh, you can change the length of it. You can, uh, if you bring this over, you can split it in a certain location. And you can copy, paste, do all this normal editing that you're used to. Um, let's go ahead and delete half of it just for demonstration purposes. And then to get back to actually playing the loops, you have to hit the edit button again. Okay. Let's go ahead and stop that. And let's hit the edit button again. And you can also change different settings of the loop. So if you tap on the loop you want to edit and then hit settings, here you can change the gain, which is pretty much similar to the volume of the loop. Um, you can change the time snap, which is how it uh, kind of snaps to uh, the different times. Uh, you can change the play mode, which is how it will respond when you actually tap on the loop. So right now it's set to play stop. So when you tap it one time, it'll play. When you tap it again, it'll stop. If you want to change that, you can change it to play while pressed. So let's see what that does. Did it not change it? Hold on. So it should only be playing while it's pressed now. Yep. Compared to playing and then stopping. 
All right. Uh, if you tap it again, you can also change it to retrigger, which will basically have it start over whenever you press it instead of just stopping. So as well as uh, you can change whether it's looping or not by uh, this toggle switch here. So once it gets to the end, it'll just stop if you have that on. Um, you can also have it follow the tempo and pitch of your master track or have it have its own tempo and pitch if you have this off. Um, you can change the length of it here. You can transpose it. Let's go ahead and play it so you can kind of hear what this sounds like. You can also change the speed of the track as well as reverse it. Let's go and stop all this. So if you want to record a new track, um, you can tap on any empty cell and you can start recording into that track. So Let's go ahead and let's add a new instrument too. So to add a new instrument, you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom of your tracks and tap on this plus icon and then instrument. And you can select any kind of instrument that you want to add. So let's go ahead, let's just add, let's add some drums. Let's use a standard, uh, let's do a house drum machine. So let's use a, do hip hop. Cool, cool. All right, let's go back and let's get some of these loops playing. Uh, let's go back. We got to select which cell we want to record into first. So I'm going to select this cell, tap it, tap again, and then record into cell. And when you're ready to record, you're going to hit this record button here. Let's turn the volume up so you can actually hear it. All right. Let's go back to our arrangement. So if you want to control the levels of the different instruments, you can tap here and then it's kind of hard sometimes. You gotta tap and drag to the right. Sometimes it's easy, you just do it real quick. And then uh, control the different levels of all the different tracks here. You can also mute different tracks or solo. that. So let's stop this. So if you want to move a track around, what you're going to do is you're going to tap on edit and then hold on the track you want to move and then you can kind of drag it into different cells that you want. All right. Um, if you want to add uh, a loop from the Apple loops, what you're going to do is you're going to tap on an empty cell or create a new track and hold and then uh, record. Actually, no, we want to, what we want to do is, uh, sorry, go back. We're going to want to add a new track. Uh, I guess we already have used all the tracks that we are able to. So let's go ahead and delete this track here. To delete a track, what you're going to do is tap on the edit icon on the bottom, tap on the track you want to delete, tap again, and then tap delete. And then now we're now we're able to add a new track because we had reached the maximum number of tracks that we we're able to. And we're gonna tap on add and we're gonna do loops. And here you can select any of the loops, um, the Apple loops, or if you have some audio files or music that you wanna add. 
So let's go ahead and let's add just know, something random. So to add a loop that you like, you're going to tap and hold it and then drag it to an open cell. And hit play on it. Alright, so that's going to end this tutorial on how to use Apple Loops. Um, stay tuned for upcoming tutorials.